Good morning guys, so I feel like I've been a bit off this channel for a little while, I've just taken some time off to figure out what I want and make sure that I got through the Christmas period okay, for me Christmas is very difficult so um, I sort of took New Year's off so I'm hoping, touch wood, to try and do a weekly vlog every week, now this is going to be a challenge for me, um, so this is what you're going to see on this channel, it's just going to be weekly vlogs, I'm going to try and do it every week, if I only get to do two a month then I get to do two a month, um, now when it gets down to September it's going to be slightly different because I'm going to be doing college work and starting college. So I have just edited um, this week's, one of this week's main videos, uh, main channel videos. I'm going to film another one on Wednesday, I think, I what I eat in a day. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm being really productive today and trying to sort out this channel and trying to really focus on like my YouTube and my blogs. Um, because I'm out of work so I could potentially work my butt off over the next six months and really make it grow so that's my intention um really focus on vlogging and main channel videos and things like that um so yes that is sort of a couple of things I'm going to try and do this year so there is going to be a I can't remember if I've said it already there is going to be a new video on here every Sunday for my vlogs over on my main channel which I will leave in the down bar there's going to be new videos on a Wednesday and a Friday and over on my blog there's going to be a new blog post on a monday so that's the new schedule i hope that's okay with all of you if you want to see more blogs blog posts or you'd rather see more vlogs and me split it into two um then i'll do that but it's up to you guys like i'm flexible it's something i really want to do um it's nice that my like housemates don't mind me vlogging um obviously if you you guys have seen them before um so yes yeah, so it also gives me something to do like go and get more footage go out and about so it's quite good for me um to be a little bit more productive in my day lunch is baked beans and i've got my bottle of water which i need to drink so i'm gonna have those two for today. okay so i'm about to do a workout because i really need to do one um so that's my plan i'm currently watching a weird thing on tv um but i'm not obviously gonna film it because i don't really want to obviously you can probably tell i've put a ton of weight on um when i was in hospital so i'm trying to shift it and then 10 minutes of strength and then another 10 minutes of cool down so yes that is my plan um to hopefully lose some of this weight because i'm not enjoying it everyone everyone else has like lost weight and i've just gained weight and i'm like Ugh. but it's not the end of the world i did it yesterday and i feel really good about it so i'm gonna do it again today and maybe even do it again tonight depending how i feel or just do it once and then try and do it every day throughout the week okay so um it's a bit later now and it's the evening um i haven't been very well i sort of took a massive turn um so i haven't been able to get my blog post up which is really really annoying but i am just basically gonna chill out for the rest of the evening police interceptions on a minute that is one of my favorite shows ever and then head off to bed now the thing is my housemates appointment's been moved so we don't actually have to go as early as we needed to which is great because i don't really want to go very early so it means that i can sort of get up about 10 ish i have a feeling i'll probably wake up about eight because that's sort of the time i've been waking up anyway at home um on a daily basis at the moment whether my alarm goes off or not so we'll see what happens i want to try and fit in a workout if possible again i'm trying to do at least a workout every day but who knows if i'll do it before or after and i'm hoping i'll feel a bit better tomorrow um but obviously you guys will in in a minute be able to see it but for me it's a nice sleep away but um yeah let's uh 
let's roll on tomorrow. So I've just finished my hospital appointment. Um, <coughs> I've decided to walk down the stairs. Why not? Um, so yeah. Hi. Um, I thought I'd check in. So I am back from the hospital. Uh, I've been back for quite a while now. Um, yeah, this week's been a bit interesting so far. I obviously had multiple seizures. Well, I didn't actually tell you what happened last night. I had multiple seizures back to back, which was very, very scary. I had an episode of like 30 minutes of in and out of seizures. Um, they don't know what's causing them at the moment. So that's under investigation. Um, and then today, obviously, I was up in London, as you saw. Um, my appointment went really, really well. Um, I need to ask my GP to do a local referral to a CFS clinic. Now, I am under the care in London, but the local, hopefully, chronic fatigue um, clinic will be able to see me on a more frequent basis and put uh, occupational therapy and physio into place. She also said to me, I need to try and go to bed at bedtime. I know it's been really difficult. My sleep's all over the place again. Um, like I will be up last night, I don't think I went to bed until half twelve, which for some is not late, but for me that is super late. And then again, waking up at seven, eight o'clock, so I didn't get a lot of sleep. And someone with chronic fatigue syndrome tend to need about nine to ten hours. I find for me to get through my next day, I need about that much. So I have had two coffees today, which I try not to normally do, but I felt like I needed it. Um, so I came home, had some dinner, I just had some a sandwich because I had some food that needed eating up. But because I didn't have breakfast, I am quite peckish. So I am going to do a at-home workout and then decide if I want to eat something or not. I'm thinking porridge because it's healthy, just have a sachet of porridge. Um, but then again, I was like, well, I could just have a small portion of pasta. But... I don't know really I don't even know if I'm gonna eat something like I'm hungry but I'm undecided if I want to eat or not um also they weighed me today um I don't normally talk about this but I'm gonna be open with you guys my weight has fluctuated for the last seven eight years um and I'm probably on the heavier side than I would have liked um back to where I was when I was 11 12 and I don't like it um, obviously I am a lot taller than I was then I'm 5'9 which is pretty tall for an average woman um, I think they're normally like 5'5 five five, so I am quite tall for my age as well I'm only 18 um, but that is something that is bothering me at the moment my weight and the fluctuation in weight so um, today wasn't an amazing day when they weighed me I saw my weight and I was like oh god here we go um but I'm gonna sit down with my therapist on Friday and talk through it all I think and just sort of get out what's in my head um and talk to him and see what things we can work on what things need other support um so yes so I'm gonna stop rambling um but I just thought I'd do a proper like, sit down because a lot of today has just been um what's the word time lapses that's the word i'm looking for time lapses sorry i keep looking at my phone screen instead of my camera um i think it's just habit of doing so yes good morning so this morning has just been very very slow um i haven't really got many plans apart from film a video for friday's main channel i'm starting to edit um the weekly vlog now Things may all of a sudden changed because I've got a job interview tomorrow, um, which I wasn't really like, 
I knew it was in the background, but I wasn't sure. I thought they hadn't got hold of me, and then I realised that I've changed from one network to another network on my phone, and the number changed. Um, so I'm using currently using a temporary number, which I didn't even realise. So even if they had tried to call me, I wouldn't have got it. So yes, it's just been problems after problems after problems with the old network. I'm so much happier with the new network, um, and I wish I'd just done it. it first time round but anyway um hopefully i have resolved all of that sorry i'm looking at the screen again um hopefully i've resolved all of that today is just going to be a bit of a cleaning day and getting things Wait, done i haven't moved i have i promise um i can't remember if i said i got dressed i cannot remember um so i basically <laughs> tidied my room got dressed um done some washing up and all that jazz to be honest today is such a chilled day i think i'm not going to do any more vlogging for today i literally haven't done a lot apart from housework and going to buy some bread that's literally how exciting my life got um so yeah it's not um it's not that interesting today <laughs> tomorrow i think i said i've got a job interview um i can't really remember but yeah so literally i haven't done that much i'm just gonna sit here i think and do watch some more tv and just chill out because i am super exhausted from yesterday yesterday was a long day in london um i went up for my appointment but i also went up to see a friend who was in the hospital for no bad reasons she just goes in for admissions um and i met her through the hospital so I went up while I was there to see her, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, today is just a really, really chill day. I've just made myself some lunch which is beetroot and cucumber sandwiches with tiger bread I love tiger bread um I had an interview this morning which I was an hour late which is really bad I completely got the timings wrong oh well um so yes I picked up my medication as well for my old work because I still get my medication from them um and things like that so yeah it's um it's been a bit interesting today i feel like i've been really bad at vlogging and remembering to vlog um but today i need to call a couple of people do some washing up and some tidying up so i feel like i've been an absolute fail and i do apologize um so i got back had some lunch that i think i filmed and showed you um and then i ended up taking a three hour nap i've done some washing up but to be honest i haven't done much this afternoon this evening i'm not feeling very well i don't feel very well um i've got a massive headache and i'm wondering whether i'm starting to come down with a bug um but i have just stuck winnie the pooh on on disney life um so that's my plan i was gonna do a workout tonight but i think i'm just gonna give it a miss and do it tomorrow and sunday so that i'm not missing because i try and do it five times a week so i think i'm gonna do that and just have a rest day today i think that is my plan um what else i've decided that i need to drink this and another bottle of water which i don't think it's gonna happen but oh well um so yeah no i feel pretty poorly today i, I don't know whether i've just overdone it or what but um we'll see I'm about this morning i'm off to see my therapist um which is going to be quite interesting um and then i have my doctor's at home 
um, from therapy and my GP. She gave me some more medication that I needed. Um, and I am just making some lunch and then I think I'm going to have a nap. I'm struggling if I'm honest with you guys. I, <laughs> from what my therapist is saying, like, I have had a busy week as you guys have seen like obviously having seizures and then having appointments blah de da de da with someone who hasn't got CFS it's normally okay but someone with CFS struggles and I didn't realise how much I'd put in to this week so I'm not really surprised that I feel like crap <laughs> um so I'm going to make some pasta and some vegetables and some tomato sauce and then I have a nap I think that is my plan for this afternoon okay so I have basically slept all this afternoon, um, I'm really struggling with my CFS, um, I'm watching Unrest on Netflix, if you haven't seen it, do, it's all about chronic fatigue syndrome, um, actually my therapist was saying that I didn't realise it was on Netflix, I bought it a while ago, but, um, I didn't realise it was actually now on Netflix, and my therapist's wife was watching it and he walked into the living room he was saying and it was on so he said had i watched it and i said yeah but i have a meeting in about half an hour um and then i'm gonna make some food but if i'm honest with you i am absolutely brutally drained that's a life of living with cfs um it's been really bad like i can't I've done a lot this week and I'm not surprised but it took me ages to fall asleep for my nap which is unusual because I fall asleep really quickly but I am so tired so so tired like unless you live with chronic fatigue then you really don't like understand it not in a mean way but um go go and um, check out and rest it's a documentary all about CFS and it can make you a bit more aware of what people live with like myself um, so yeah